All right, hi guys. We are going to learn about watercolor techniques today. That means different ways that you can use watercolor in your artwork. We're gonna learn five different techniques. Please remember whenever you're using watercolor, you need to have a placemat under your paper. You need to have a watercolor set. You need to have a water bucket with your brushes filled a little bit, about an inch or so, and then you need to have a paper towel underneath. Before you start painting today, I want you to make sure that you have your first name, your last name, and your class code on the bottom of your paper with a pencil. We're gonna start today with a Sharpie, and the first thing that I want you to do with your Sharpie is just to draw some lines on your paper. The next thing that I want you to do is to use some crayon and I want you to draw some shapes on your paper. You can draw a few shapes, you can color them in, they can be different shapes. You can also use different colors of crayon if you want to. When you're using the crayon, try to press kind of hard with the crayon, but don't break the crayon, okay? Don't press so hard that you're breaking the crayon. Okay, once you're done with that, we're gonna start doing some watercolor techniques. The first one that we're gonna do is called wet in wet. So you're gonna take your paintbrush and you want to use a bigger brush because we're painting a big area. If you were gonna paint a small area, then you would use a smaller brush. I am just painting with water and remember I hold my brush just like I hold my pencil and I'm gonna go back and forth, back and forth with the water. All right. So so after you are done wetting your whole piece of paper, then you're gonna start adding some color. So remember back and forth, back and forth when you get paint on your brush. If you want your color to be bright, you go back and forth, back and forth a bunch of times to get more paint on your brush. If you want your color to be light, you just get a little bit of paint on your brush and really spread that out. If you wanna switch colors, make sure you rinse your brush and tap it on the inside of your bucket. I'm gonna get my next color and I'm spreading that out. And you'll see when I'm painting over the crayon, it's called crayon resist. The crayon is really tough and strong and it pushes the paint right off of the crayon. So it still shows up, so crayon resist. And I wanna make sure that I fill in my whole piece of paper. I switched colors, so I got a new color. I rinsed my brush, squeeze it on the inside of my bucket, and I'm filling in all the white. Now, while it's still wet, I'm going to do something called salt, which means that I'm gonna take a little pinch of salt, just a little bit at a time, and spread it over where it's wet. You have to do this while it's still wet or it won't work. It catches the, uh, the water, the salt catches the water and it will pull up some of the color and make a really cool texture for you. While that's drying, you can do a layer. Layer means that I'm gonna take this area where it's already starting to dry and I'm gonna put a new color over the top of it. So where it's kind of that light blue color, I can add another color on top and they'll mix together. So we call that layer. The other technique that we did is called pen and ink, where we used Sharpie first and added lines and details and paint right over. And watercolor will go right over the top of Sharpie and Sharpie is just like crayon. It's tough and strong and it pushes the paint right off of it. I'm gonna add another layer on top of that and make my purple a little darker. And remember, if you want a darker color, you get more paint on your brush. 
back and forth, back and forth. So I want you to try these different techniques. We have pen and ink, we have crayon resist, we have wet and wet where my wet colors are mixing together. We have salt and we have layer. So there's five techniques that we we're doing today. Mm -hmm.